In Slate, a playlist is a sequence of digital tools that you want to project for the children to see. These are in each and every lesson and stepping stones, but you can also create your own playlist from the menu of Origo resources. This tutorial will give you an overview of these two options. First, let's look at the playlists that are provided in each lesson. I'll select Grade 1, Module 2, Lesson 1. The resource tab of this lesson reveals two support pages. You may want to leave these in your playlist for the students to see, or you may simply want to print them and delete the files from the playlist. The same can be said for the black and white version of the student journal page. Origo gives you this version to make printing more economical, but it is not necessary for students to see it. A colour version is far more engaging. For the purpose of this tutorial, I want to delete the first support page and the black and white student journal page only. Before I do that, you can see there is an alternative in case you do not have an interactive whiteboard. Just select the static image if you don't have an IWB. Now click the edit button. Here you see the list of resources for your lesson. Delete those that you decided you did not want. Then press play when you are ready. In the viewer you see that the first resource is the support page. Press the forward arrow to progress to the second resource, which is the flare tool, all set up and ready to go. The third is the step in discussion. This resource has several pages, so press here to move from one to the next. The next resource is the student journal. I can choose to show one page at a time or as a double page spread as it appears in their books. The final resource reveals the answers. At this point I can go back through the playlist by pressing the back arrow, print the resource here and increase or decrease its appearance here. Exit the playlist or viewer by pressing the cross. It is important to note that your changes are not made to the resource list itself, so when you revisit this list, you will see it in its original state. If you made changes to your list, you will find it under the Playlist tab. Now let's create our own playlist from all the resources that are at our disposal. I first recommend that you familiarise yourself with all these resources, so either have a play with Slate, or be sure to watch our tutorial on online teaching resources. Press Playlist and click here to create a new list. I'm going to find resources that will help me teach subtraction, so I'll start by giving the list that name. Then select the resources you want from the menu above. I want to start with a big book on subtraction. So after reading Joe's Carrots, I will follow up with the matching big book tool. So I select big book tools, then titles, and scroll or filter down to find a title. I then want to add it to a select playlist. Hover over this button for a moment and it will reveal the name you gave your list. Then click. Next I want to add a game from Fundamentals. Select this from the menu and choose Titles. Filter down to find the game you want. Then repeat the process and add it to your list. Finally I would like to finish with the number track tool for my interactive whiteboard. So I select Flare, then Titles and repeat the steps. When I'm ready, I simply select Playlist again. Notice all three resources in their correct order. Press the play button to reveal one resource at a time. Before I go, let's have a look at the other options in the Playlist tab. Suppose you want to send a playlist to a fellow teacher. Check the playlist, then press the Export button. Your computer then saves a file that contains your playlist or playlists. You may want to change its name at this time. Then choose the location. My default is the desktop. Once saved, you can attach it to an email and send it to a fellow Slate user. You can import files by selecting the import key and reversing the steps. Notice also you can choose to print the content of any one playlist and there are buttons to help you sort your playlists. Teachers have always told me that no matter how much they like their core program, they always want the ability to create their own lessons. Not only does the Slate Playlist tool give you the opportunity to create your own lessons, but enables you to share those creations with your fellow teachers.